Okay, I guess we're unboxing this. We may be a week away from the official release of Animal Crossing for Nintendo Switch, but a whole week ahead, they are releasing this special edition Animal Crossing New Horizons bundle, which does not include the game, but looks really, really pretty. To be honest, I'm not the biggest Animal Crossing fan. I like the game, it's just never grabbed me like some people, but I am really excited to open up this Switch because a lot of past special editions for the Nintendo Switch, especially the regular one, haven't really wowed me. I like some of them, but I always feel like there's a step farther they could go, and this is the first one that I really feel like actually tries to knock it out of the park. So let's not waste any more time. Let's start opening it up and check it out. So first off, let's take a look at the box. Now you can see that this is the design it includes. It doesn't show the back of the Switch itself. We'll see that on one of the other sides, but it shows the special edition dock, which is the first dock that is actually a different color. It is not just a black one with the design, which I really love. And we have what I've seen peop some people refer to as the toothpaste Joy-Cons, where you have this pastel light blue and light green. Now on these sides, you have a couple little designs. This one right here actually shows the back of the Switch. Uh, in particular, you can see that kind of like some of the other special edition ones, it's still a standard black design with a black etching, but looks like it has a lot more detail going on. I'm really excited to see that in person. And on the back is just a little picture of you arriving on the island to get ready to start your Animal Crossing adventure. Okay, let's go ahead and actually open it up. And then of course, I forgot to grab a knife to cut the tape. Okay, I took a little bit off, but not too much. We're good. All right, go ahead and open this guy up. Oh. So this is the regular Nintendo Switch setup. On the top, we have the Joy-Cons, which this is something really neat that I like, is that these aren't actually all the way around one color. It's that pastel color on the front and a white back, which is really cool. This isn't something that Nintendo's really done with any of the other ones before, where you actually have a different back plate compared to the front plate. So really awesome they actually did that this time around. Helps differentiate it from other past designs. There's the green one. Set that aside. Then we have, of course, the Switch itself. And like I said, this one is the one part of it that doesn't have any kind of additional color splash. It is still a black on black design, but oh yeah, there's definitely a lot more going on here. So the back of the Switch looks like a number of different islands amongst an ocean. So you have kind of these wave designs with boats stranded throughout it, and then all these little islands with houses and trees and such on them. Oh, and you can even make out how on each of the islands, there's just, you know, one villager, which is really cool. Really, well, these two are awesome. The thing I am most excited to see is the dock. So let's go ahead and get there. Don't care about cables. Does it come with a special grip? I didn't actually think to check that. Nope, regular grip. Cool, good to know. Set that aside. And then the wrist straps. Oh, I didn't notice that before. So the wrist straps for these Joy-Cons, they have the same white color as the back of the Joy-Cons, but they do have matching wrist straps to those, I guess we could say mint green and blue. Here's the green one, here's the blue one. That's actually a really nice detail. I don't think, as far as I can recall right, right now, I don't think any other special edition has done something special for this. You'll usually have a different color for the part that connects to the Joy-Con, but the strap being a different color, this is the first time I can think of that actually happening. Normally it's just a plain black one. I'm sure if there was a special edition that did that, you guys are gonna correct me quite a bit in the comments. I'm gonna bang my head against the wall later. All right, so that stuff out of the way, let's get to the dock. Oh, we got double wrap on this guy. Gotta keep it safe. Put those in front. And here is the dock. 
So like I said, this is the first one that is actually a different color other than a plain black, which is awesome. The main body is kind of a slightly creamy off-white. It's almost like a very bright sand color, which I think is meant to kind of capitalize on the theme of, again, it's an island setting. But on the front, we've got the ocean with a little island set up with Tom Nook and Timmy and Tommy. Little flag they're holding up. Uh, what's actually really interesting, I haven't noticed this in other Switches before. It says Nintendo on the back, but then on the very top is actually the Nintendo Switch logo that would normally be on the front of the system. That's really interesting to me because it almost looks like they'd want you to put it this way sometimes, like flat down. And I don't want to do that because, you know, that. Yeah, so all the detailing is definitely on the front. A nice touch with this too is that while there are a couple different colors going on here, these are matching the Joy-Con colors. So the blue they used is for the ocean as well as some of the shirts and the flag. And the green is right here on the island itself. So that is a great little detail. So the complete switch design, you've got these two colors on the front, which looks nice. On the back, you've got that island design that's between two white Joy-Cons, at least on the back side. And then in the dock, all the colors come together real nicely. So this is the special edition Switch. There are some other Animal Crossing products that are tied in that are releasing today as well, along with a couple other things. For instance, you can also grab this official Nintendo Switch case, which I also didn't cut the tape for, so give me a moment. Yeah, when they first announced this special edition, I actually assumed that this case would be included with it. Turns out, not the case. A lot of the ones in the past, like the Mario Odyssey one, they came with a case. So when I saw this revealed, I thought it'd be together, but nope. So this is an official Nintendo one. This is not a third-party licensed one. Comes a little, little screen protector. And then this pattern here, obviously the leaf is one of the main symbols they've used across the Animal Crossing series. This is also, however, this specific pattern is the shirt that Tom Nook wears in the game. So it's that white shirt with all the leaves on it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Am I in the right place? Am I in focus? Now, if you missed out on your chance on getting the special edition one for the Switch, or you can't even get the official Nintendo case, there are a lot of other Animal Crossing themed products coming out. There's a couple that haven't come out just quite yet, like the Power Ray controllers, but some that I have gotten a chance to get all my hands on a little early are cases from Hori, which features the design for the island and a bunch of villagers on it. I think my favorite touch is actually that the zippers or the little leaves, which is great. And you got the leaf print on the inside. This is sized for a regular Switch, but they do advertise that it fits a Switch Lite as well. It doesn't fill the whole space, but because of the way the grooves are, it will still sit there nice and fine. And if you don't like the size of the regular Switch and you have a Switch Lite, they do also have these little protective cases for the Switch Lite that gives it that Animal Crossing flavor if you just want to have some way to celebrate it instead of getting the actual special edition system. So overall, out of all these special editions that Nintendo has put out, this is the best one. Honestly, there's just a lot going on that with a lot of the past special editions, I always felt like there was always something missing. It just didn't go far enough on some designs. For instance, the Pikachu and Eevee one. I really liked the colors for that one on the Joy-Cons and I love that the wrist strap attachments have it a kind of a two-tone approach to make it represent Eevee and Pikachu. But at the same time, the dock left me a little wanting. It had the Pikachu and the Eevee on it, which was cute, but it was very minimal and straightforward. This one, has a lot more going on. You've got the themed Joy-Cons, which again, have a different color back, not something you see on a lot of other Joy-Con designs. You have a different color dock with a great looking graphic on the front. And the wrist strap attachment is honestly just a nice little added touch. And of course, again, the back of the Switch itself has a design. I'd still love to see Nintendo do something a little more colorful and interesting with the main body. But compared to everything they've done in the past, this is a huge step forward. Do you guys see the back of my shirt?